we'll get back to <laughs> the uh, repeat of this episode. Sorry, we had a little bit of a technical difficulty yeah. in the beginning, so we had to restream. Uh, but it's good now. The audio is fine, the visual is fine, so let's just resume. Today we discussed the film uh, Silence. It was released in 2016. It's uh, directed by Martin Scorsese. And um, it's, it's a, a historical drama film that's based on the, a novel, a 1966 novel of the same name, Silence, by uh, Shusaku Endo. I pushed his name, most likely, but you know, a Japanese author. Um, it details these two Jesuit priests by, who are played by Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver uh, as they venture to Japan to find their mentor, father figure, um, who's played by Liam Neeson. Um, and essentially they sort of go to Japan when Japan is against all Christians, um, persecuting them, imprisoning them, killing them to sort of, because, you know, they are, um, I guess, threatened by that, the Christian idea, um, mm-hmm. since they're, I believe, mostly Buddhist, um, at the time. So, yeah, uh, we get to see essentially what unfolds, um, through their visit through, uh, you know, uh, Rodriguez and Garup's group day's visit to Japan. Um, and especially uh, Rodriguez, because that's his, you know, he's like the main, we, the, the main character that we follow. Um, I think the story itself is very, very good, like very good. It's fairly simplistic. It, it, it you know, moves forward at um, not a, a very fast pace, but a, enough of a pace where like, there's always something that's happening. Um, it is a two hour and 40 minute movie. So it is long. Um, it's not short by any stretch of imagination, but um, I never felt like it when it overextended its welcome. Um, there was always an idea out there, uh, essentially where like, you know, you as the audience would think about sort of like the message or the theme of this movie. Um, and I think that was very nice because it was sort of like open right. to that to those thoughts, um, almost open to interpretation, um, sort of like what the message of this movie is about. Um, the, speaking on the messages, I think like, you know, the predominant one is of course self-sacrifice versus for the greater good. Like, you know, at what point do you do self-sacrifice for the greater good? Um, and of course there's also like the themes of like religion itself, uh, different interpretations of religion, you know, like, um, different, I guess, different ways of sort of like handling these different interpretations, uh, if you will. And it, it, it's, it's very interesting to sort of like, or basically like, or like how, 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 uh, how much of a foreign idea can take root and, and I, or how much of an idea can take root in a foreign land. Like that's also the thing that's sort of discussed or seen upon. So it's very nice to sort of like, see that unfold uh, through um, Rodriguez, Andrew Garfield's character. Um, and I will say his acting is very good as well. Mm-hmm. I'm a huge fan of it and as an actor, and I think he did a very, very good job. Um, as well as also, like, the other the other cast, like, even, like, the Japanese actors as well, like, they did a very good job. The interpreter was um, funny, charming, <laughs> you know, he and he did, it was a very nice, uh, you mentioned this earlier, Austin, like, the iconu between him and the Inquisitor. Um, the, those, those characters, uh, you know, they're almost playing like good cop, bad cop in some sense. Um, and it it was nice to see that. Yeah. Um, the acting, I think, um, also, uh, another thing I wanted to mention was the, um, uh, oh gosh, I was going to mention something, but now I'm like blanking out (laughs) (laughs) what what I was going to say. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Yes. The one thing that has a bit of an issue, just personally, um, was the the um, <laughs> near the end when they, in the climax when like Rodriguez is about to, to apostate step trample onto step his put his foot on Jesus' face. Um, he like Jesus talks to him directly. It's like, he oh, hey, Jesus, yeah. You hear Jesus' voice, like, hey, it's all right. You know, you have my you have my blessing to do this for the greater good, right. and I, I kind of wish. Um, like I understand that the messaging to that is like kind of um, resolution, 
um, for his internal struggle, Rodriguez's right. internal conflict. But I, at the same time, I I kind of wish it was less direct. Like, it was more <laughs> subtly behind it. Like, it's not like, hey, bro, he's like, it's okay. You're good. Uh, in my book, I just wish it was maybe could have done been done in, like, like some sort of uh, scripture writing or, like, a hymn mm-hmm. where, like, it's implied that he will forgive, but, like, you know, it's, it's more open to interpretation, right? Right. Uh, because, like, this whole movie is kind of, like, kind of open for thought um, in general. So that's sort of, like, the only, mm, I guess, uh, critique I have. Um, it's very small, so. But otherwise, yeah, um, very good movie. Um, very great acting. Uh, and, yeah. Well done. Well done. I, I agree. It was a, <laughs> a pretty a pretty well done movie. And, you know, I think I'm going to pretty much pair a lot of what you said. Just, you know, enjoying uh, the story of how it goes, right? To see the trials that um, Andrew Garfield as Father Rodriguez goes through um, was definitely, you know, uh, you know, uh, engaging to watch, right? To, to see what he goes through, to see the all these people suffering, right? And to see mm. the internal struggle that Rodriguez kind of goes through, right? I think for me, the main theme of this movie is, um, you know, the 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 practi- the, you know, the uh, traditions, right? The actual ceremony, the the actual you know strict interpretation um, mm. of of a, of a religion, right? The actual dogma versus um, the messaging, right? The teachings, um, you know, the yeah. way that you know maybe Jesus wanted people to live by, right? There's this dichotomy yeah. versus the personal versus an organized religion, right? Uh, yeah. And trying to, to, to reconcile between those two. And I think that's, you know, this, you know this, is the, this is something that Rodriguez, Father Rodriguez, is fighting, you know, against, right? Like, what is good, what is good for the people? Uh, to, you know, what is good for, you know, these, these villagers who are suffering, you know, in the name of Jesus? When, you know, it's kind of revealed later, is it the fact that they're actually suffering in his name, right? Is he being treated um, as the Messiah instead of having Jesus, right? And he's the one who is also trying to live you know, trying to replicate, right, Jesus' journey, trying to replicate the, the trials, right? But he does not see himself. He just wants to, you know, prove that he's faithful, right? Uh, mm-hmm. But, you know, other people see it, you know, see that in him, right? Um, so it's, it's very interesting. I, I, I really love that, that you know, messaging that they, they try to, you know, that the theme that they try to go. This is not an attack on religion um, at all or even just, a, you know, a criticism Right, it's just you know a, a, a personal story. I feel like of a character who is trying to uh, find this balance, right? Um, yeah. You know, yeah. Of what is what what is religion and what is the, the actual teachings um, that he's supposed to follow? Um, in, in in this world that is very very hostile um, to, to to Christianity. Um, so you know, enjoyed seeing that story through. Um, uh, and seeing this dichotomy there, um, Kichijiro uh, is a very interesting character. He just keeps coming back yeah. and back, um, and yeah. it's you know, but, yeah, yeah. But he he is this manifestation of that kind of organized religion because he takes advantage of you know, if I confess to a priest, I will be absolved. And he keeps coming back and back and yeah. back, and it's, yeah. I think it's it's yeah. very telling, right, um, of the story of someone who's foreign who who believes in it, but it kind of takes advantage of. Of mm. the system in place to to help people when he's really supposed to you know get you know work better and improve, you know he even says I'm a weak man you know he keeps going back to it and tries to think that he can be resolved um, each time and time again. Um, yeah. So you know he's that kind of like a manifestation of like oh yeah these people are, you know someone who's just living through the system not really understanding the messaging um, and, and trying to take advantage when you're really supposed to be like Rodriguez you know thinking of the people you even have to sacrifice you know self-sacrifice right do good do good for the people right that is maybe mm-hmm. what, what jesus says um uh you did have a uh you know problem with the, the you know jesus speaking for me i think that was you know fine i think i thought it was cathartic it, it's a bit cheesy a little bit campy but i thought it was cathartic especially in this type of movie, religious movie um having everything silent and having uh uh you know jesus kind of talk through maybe you know through hallucination either way he talks to him right and it's 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 comforting uh for rodriguez and i think you know therefore comforting the audience to hear like yeah i, I can do it can go forth um and this is like the, his mm-hmm. climax his, his catharsis right he, he breaks down he cries um and then he lives a life mm-hmm. almost abstains from christianity at all until the end we kind of see i mean it's believable that he, he doesn't believe um but 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 then we, we kind of see yeah he does you know 
you know have that you know, he still has the faith um i really enjoyed a lot of the japanese uh, actors um, in this movie they, they've done a really good job yeah. you know portraying yeah. um you know the different you know desperation or cruelty and whatnot i really like the translator uh, his role um yeah it's very very sly and you know talk you know you know he was very very charming um and and you know opposed to that the the inquisitor i wasn't too keen on his portrayal because i thought it was a little bit of a caricature of like you know foreign asian uh i i understand that's probably the point right uh, to, to show someone maybe uh you know uh, as, as foolish or someone who who you can belittle but at the same time yeah. uh you know he he's he's the evil guy right you don't want to you know show him you know but at the same time i thought it wasn't as subtle um uh, it, it's a, you know, a little bit problematic but again he his character um, even though he does, he seems uh, disarming, right? He, you know, he doesn't seem as a threat. He is a really big threat. He is, you know, very powerful and he can, yeah. can cause a lot yeah. of suffering to a lot of people. Um, and he, he also gives very good analogies uh, to Rodriguez, trying to you know make him see a different perspective. Uh, maybe it's mm -hmm. not a good message to, to to portray that they you know they kind of lose to the end of tolerance, right? But at the same time, I don't think that was the main point here. The main point again was just you know your your own self messaging about religion, um, how he's supposed to live yeah. through that you know uh, that, that that story, those themes, the the, the teachings, right? Have mm -hmm. their own personal moral guidance. So I thought that was that was great. Um, but yeah, this movie I thought was was shot well. Act all did a great job. Um, it was very interesting, you know. This movie, you know, introduced you know Garupe, Adam Driver, and and, and Andrew Garfield, and yeah. Rodriguez. But it really just was Andrew Garfield's story, right? R Rodriguez's story. Um, you know, Garupe yeah. was a kind of secondary character, um, kind of like a foil. Like he's more strict in interpretation. Um, mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Rodriguez is not. And then also uh, Liam Neeson as uh, Father Ferreira. Uh, he's yeah. portrayed a lot in the marketing, right? You, you can see like, oh, yeah, the poster, but, right? But he's so, yeah. he's plays a very I mean, he he very pivotal, right? But he's a side character that's not introduced until the very very end, right? But he helps yeah. um, guide Ferreira in his, or not Ferreira, he guides Rodriguez in his you know journey to you know become an apostate, um, you know, yeah. uh, kind of priest. Um, so it's so a really good movie. Really, really enjoyed it. And one other thing I wanted to know, what I liked or you know kind of noticed was that in the beginning of the movie, it's like very loud, right? A lot of like you know hear like all the sounds of nature, right? Oh. Right, yeah, that's yeah, and then it becomes silent, right, and then it comes mm -hmm. uh, uh, loud again at the end, right. I mm -hmm. thought that was nice, uh, nice touch to open and close a movie. Um, uh, but yeah, this movie's mm -hmm. beautiful shot, shot in Taiwan. Uh, most, a lot of it is shot in Taiwan, yeah. I believe. So, I don't know the shot Taiwan. Uh, so uh, but, very, very yeah. enjoyable. Even though it's a bit long, I did think um, each kind of you know uh, scene that they had was variety enough to add to uh, the characterization of, of uh, Rodriguez, Father Rodriguez. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we... Cool. All right. Well, um, we'll do a final rating. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. Why don't you start on the final rating this time? Final rating this time. I'd probably give this movie a 9.5. Oh. All right. I really uh, enjoyed this movie. Right. So near, near um, I thought that the messaging was, was, was great in terms of how they... It was a... It was a a different messaging theme that I that I that I usually that they usually try to talk through here. Um, I love historical fiction, mm -hmm. so I thought it was great to see you know these kind of two dichotomy like you know, you know two Western priests you know in you know foreign land in Japan. Um, but I, I really yeah. think it's it's the character conflict that Rodriguez goes through that really kind of sells this movie, right? He's trying to push through. He's trying to, um, you know, you know find this balance, right? And it, it's just very hard because he's in a land that is very hostile to him. Right, and he has to make peace with that, mm -hmm. um, and he finally does, and you know yeah. he lives it in a way that he enjoys it. I thought this movie had a very, you know, it's a simple plot structure, right? But it's a story that I can follow along, and I am engaged with uh, throughout the film, and it's just uh, you know shot very, I think, very very well uh, with with great great characters. Um, I think the only really you know small portion is just that portrayal of the Inquisitor, but other than that, I think everything else uh, was was pretty great. You know, Kichijiro just being kind of like almost like the fool in the movie right he keeps coming back right betraying um and almost haunting uh rodriguez uh, but he was he was a, again a very good character to kind of you know show this contrast as well as show just like someone who is just taking advantage of the the, the religion so uh I, I thoroughly enjoyed it i would definitely recommend this movie even though it's a bit long uh you know you gotta take some time to to to, you know, to invest to, to watch it but i think it's it's a good watch just to show you know just because of the, the messaging and the theme it really makes you think um with, with this movie so mm -hmm. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, I give this movie a nine. Um, more or less the same reason. Uh, would have tweaked a little bit of it, as I mentioned before, with the Jesus's voice, but, <laughs> uh, voice of Jesus. But otherwise, no, it was a very good movie. I highly recommend. Um, a bit long, but I think if you're, this is definitely a thinking movie. Yeah, I would say. Like, if you're watch this leisurely, uh, you know, probably not the best, but like, you know, if you sit down and really want to contemplate <laughs> life. <laughs> get your get your running, then yeah, this is a great movie. Um, also, if you like Andrew Garfield in general, just oh yeah, <laughs> see that. What a, what a great, great, great uh, uh, acting in this movie. Yeah, movie so. Definitely. Why not? <clears throat> All right, cool. So that kind of, I guess that ends today's stream. Um, apologies for the technical difficulties in the beginning, yeah. but um, <laughs> we will be back in two weeks' time. Um, wait, no, three, three weeks time because, uh, I am out for the next two weeks. So you can blame me for being <laughs> for, for my favorite show of all time. Um, but anyway, yeah, we'll be back in three weeks. We'll update the schedule accordingly and we'll choose the movie, of course, off stream. Yeah. Um, but we'll, uh, yeah, that's it. See you fellas next time. Yeah. Bye.